All right. Next up, we've got coming soon. Um, this week's coming soon is, is definitely kind of like I, I feel like it's a big like shakeup of stuff because there's a so random. So like the very first one, Idris Elba, like what, <laughs> killing killing it in the Suicide Squad, which we'll get to later. Yeah, and has just been cast as the voice of Knuckles in Sonic Two. That's awesome. Hell yeah! That's awesome. I just can't imagine his voice though coming out of Knuckles. Yeah, he, <laughs> like he's got such presence physically, and then you got like somebody the size of Sonic who has like a you know a Ben Schwartz voice, which makes perfect sense. I was literally going to say he sound, like Ben Schwartz even looks like Sonic in Parks and Rec <laughs> with his hair. So yeah, and like I'm just wondering what what Miles Tails Prow Prower is going to be like. Who's going to cast as him? I, I hope it's like. Jonah a female character shit. yeah oh, yeah yeah okay <laughs> there you go uh, like like if if uh if tara tara was her name tara strong tara strong she can do uh tommy pickles and that yeah. one lady does bart simpson i think there's a like a mix there that sounds a little playful but we'll see how that casting goes right now ben schwartz is is sonic idris alba is now knuckles and um this i i enjoyed the first movie with jim carrey as dr robotnik slash dr eggman um just it was very playful and i think my favorite part was just the revolt against the initial model for sonic and how the studio is like yeah we're not gonna yeah i totally forgot about all that like that first trailer for sonic (laughs) came out and everybody was like this is horrible remake the 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 movie is this guy like he doesn't even look real anyways why are you changing the model of a classic character from over 30 years of content freaking ridiculous next up Got some good looking people, man. Good looking people. Look at them. So, Look okay. Them. Catherine Zeta Jones, as so people who are listening, it's the Adams family for Netflix. They um it's called Wednesday, and it's told from the story of Wednesday Adams, but they casted Catherine Zeta Jones as Morticia Adams, which is spot on. Like Wait. Louise Guzman, Guzman as as Gomez. I guess for me, I always think of Raul Julia. As Gomez, yeah. and like yeah, he's he's definitely he's our generation. Tall, he's Go- like Gomez. tall and like like built and athletic. And Louis yeah. Guzman has always been like a comedic character to me. I'm sure. I mean, he's you can't tell it. me you don't think of the movie Waiting and t- talking about flatten out your balls <laughs> like like tissue paper. Do you, you see can't the mix veins? Continental with Oriental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah a little yeah, bit of floor so spice good. makes everything nice yeah man i mean to your point i, I think there is going to be that kind of split right so it's the same thing with like the the cartoon i went and watched the cartoon movie recently with mixed mixed emotions like my mom uh-huh. grew up with the old school didn't it, it right the, the black and white show even that guy was shorter than his a female car- counterpart uh so it kind of plays that way um but I like that we're going in a different direction. I'm, I'm assuming yeah. based off of you know the look of Catherine Zeta Jones and obviously Luis Guzman's got a very distinct accent that I think we're going to be going away from that like Transylvanian Romanian kind of origin story more right. to like a uh, Hispanic Latin Latinx American kind of. yeah yeah because they already have such a big celebration with Day of the Dead. Um, I, I don't think there's a, a far stretch there, and, and you know shit, we love that holiday. We love Halloween. Oh yeah, even in the U.S. So the market is going to be right where it needs to be. And Luis Guzman is is and always will be my favorite non alumni or alumni of Greendale, Greendale Community Dale, College. Greendale Community College. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited about it. I don't have they announced who the guest is Wednesday. Let me see you from the show. Nope. They um, did. I just can't I, remember her name. See, I'm hope, I'm hoping. <laughs> I think a lot of people are like, why can't? Why couldn't it be? To still, what's her face? Christina yes. Ricci. Yeah, Christina Ricci. Yeah, it's not going to work with these parents' ages here. She's supposed to be a teenager. I mean, granted, she she never ages. That girl is like a vampire. Her, Keanu Reeves, Anderson Cooper, like they just don't age. Um, But I'm excited to see what comes of it. Obviously, Tim Burton. When was the last time? Well, when was the last time you saw Tim Burton anything without Helen Bottom Carter or Johnny Depp in it? Um, Michael Keaton's Batman. I don't think either of them are in it. Yeah, or or, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like Coraline (laughs) is Coraline. I think Helena Bonham Carter is in Coral. No, she was was the mom, right? Corpse Bride was Helena Bonham Carter. I don't know. Tim Burton loves them. Yeah, he's uh, you know what? He's if he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Well, hell yeah. Um, 
The other net big announcement, I was actually really excited about this, and I think we've talked about this person on the show before, Mr. Krabs, bro, John Clancy. This is the most exciting oh, sorry, news. Clancy the, Brown. Uh, John, Clancy Brown. Clancy John Brown. Clancy. This is the most exciting news of the week to me. You've got the one of the final Highlanders in the John Wick 4 movie. Fuck yeah. Have you I watched know... the other John Wick movies? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, after the first movie, of course, you know, the dog. Hey, uh, spoiler alert. The first movie... The reason John Wick gets so upset is that some jackasses, uh, Ian McShane's son in the film, kills John Wick's dog. Which already I was like, we're going to fuck some people up. So I watched that first one, right? And now ever since then, he's got another dog that's just like so dope. He just fucking yeah, follows dude, behind him. He's just like, so stay. Old. Yeah, he just, just kind of chills. Um, and I know they've got a lot of uh, plots around the Hotel the Continental. So I'm, I'm definitely interested in how they kind of spin John Wick 4 here. Uh, you've got Keanu Reeves, obviously, Donnie Yen, Bill Skarsgård, Lawrence Fishburne, yay, uh, Ian McShane. I love that guy. Deadwood. Deadwood, he, yeah. He can do no wrong. American Clancy Guys. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is out. So. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about what's coming with this. The next topic, it's, it's definitely not going to be – It's it's got star power, you know? But it's not coming until 2022. I'm a little, a little upset about it. A little upset. I didn't want to wait I too long. I can't believe that wait. this got pushed back again. Got punted. punted. They're going to be – those kids are going to be adults by the time this season That's comes That's what out. I'm saying. And I feel Millie bad. Millie Bobby Brown, I, mean, I think, is, is already – like, I think she's 18 years old already. I mean, maybe. She looks like Catherine o Not Catherine O'Hara. What's her face? Oh, uh, yeah, Catherine O'Hara. Natalie Portman. I mean, she looks like Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely – I, th I think that we're playing the Harry Potter game here where you know, you're hoping that the actors who are originally in the beginning, they age a particular way, which is so stressful. I mean, I can't imagine being the actor yourself and then having to have the pressure of, do I encourage myself to grow and work out and like eat healthy or not? Like based on like what the perception is of my character uh, and probably one of their biggest career moves for them. Um, but I definitely am excited for what's coming in season four. It, I'm disappointed that the uh, tagline for this season is we're no longer in Hawkins. It makes me upset. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do to grow the show. So I'm um, looking forward to it. And hopefully we'll get early 2022, not just ambiguous 2022. Yeah. I mean, finally. Is it going to be like fucking October 2022? Dude, I bet it is. I bet it is. Or you know the same roles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol comes out. Season three comes out. I wrote this thing. September 23rd. I love this show. Obviously, it's a great show. Um, um, we both got an affinity for Brendan Fraser, uh, Matt Bomber as the uh, the guy with this, the entity Dalton. inside. Yeah, like, Timothy Dalton. Yeah. <laughs> and then Homegirl from Orange is the New Black. Yep. Um, so, I mean, the last season ended on a major cliffhanger. No idea where the show, like where what they were going to go, if they were just going to end it kind of like season, whatever, season five of Angel, where they're just like, all right, you take the 50,000 dragons on the left, I'll take the 50,000 dragons on the right. Right. Um, but I think I'm glad to see that we're getting a whole new season of this show. Um, that first season, when it kicked things off with uh, Alan Tudyk, that's I was in the minute I heard his voice. Yeah, you know he's right. got he's got that the Alan Tudyk bump. And there's it's there for a reason. So fucking watch, dude. Yeah, watch me fly. 